India's labor market is witnessing a perplexing phenomenon. Data from the Center for Monitoring Indian Economy or CMIE showed that from 428.4 million in March, the labor force increased by 8.8 million to reach 437.2 million in April this year. This was one of the largest monthly increases. The private think tank said that such an increase is only possible if some working age people who were out of the labor force joined back in April. However, employment opportunities were inadequate to absorb the additional supply resulting in the unemployment rate inching up slightly. An 8.8 million increase in the labor force and a 7 million expansion in employment in April resulted in a 1.8 million increase in the count of the unemployed. This pushed the total number of unemployed to 34.2 million. But what was perplexing was that even as the number of jobless people soared, India's on-demand delivery platforms witnessed a shortage of workers, the riders who can pick up and drop food, groceries and other items. Swiggy has temporarily shut down its pick-up and drop-off service Genie in Mumbai, Hyderabad and Bengaluru, three of the 68 cities where the service is available due to a shortage of delivery personnel. The company said that cricketing and festive season resulted in a surge in demand for servicing the requirements for both the food marketplace and grocery service Instamart, requiring them to prioritize deliveries accordingly. Swiggy said it hoped to resume Genie in the impacted cities soon. While demand has gone up, delivery times have increased too in the past few weeks in top cities. Food delivery times are averaging above 40 minutes and even go up to 60 minutes or more. It is also leading to order cancellations. This is also compelling online platforms to club multiple orders in one go. Yeah, there is a like lucrative joining bonus, you know, among the players, right? About like incentives and even, uh, you know, like insurance, you know, like fixed wages and all. And they will be changing, you know, very often. Um, I mean, suppose if, uh, you know, the earning potential at like Swiggy is so and so amount, right? Uh, mostly over a duration of two weeks, three weeks, again, they will also change the wages and all. So it is also making, uh, you know, the delivery folks to feel, uh, you know, yeah, uh, and there is a lucrative joining bonus, you know, yeah. No, you have become us actually. Apart from that, yes, uh, you know, yeah, there is a very huge uh, competition, right, between the players. So I think that is also making them to feel, uh, to look for other opportunities, I guess. You know, yeah, one is about the pay structure and the second is, see, you know, yeah, there is a huge demand, right? Uh, see, until now, uh, you know, you, uh, we had so and so lakhs of uh, delivery folks. But you know, when there is a demand to, you know, you have like more than, uh, you know, at least like 3 to 4x, right? Uh, these delivery, uh, you know, the like folks will not just generate overnight, right? You know, hyperlocal delivery friend and all. Uh, I think, you know, yeah, uh, you know yeah, they should always come up with like lucrative, uh, you know, opportunities. And they should also make sure, you know, upskilling, you know, uh, you know apart from the delivery, right? Uh, you know, yeah, they should also give some, you know, upskilling platform. Uh, they should assure about, you know, very like instant payouts. Uh, they should assure uh, that, you know, yeah, they are the best, uh, uh, you know, like paying players, you know, among others. The proliferation of quick commerce apps has triggered a hiring frenzy of sorts for delivery workers. B2B gig marketplace Taskmos, Prashant Janadri, says that companies must broadly increase their pay for gig workers in order to retain them longer as workers are now switching platforms in as little as one or two months. It is clear that delivery workers feel their wages are not lucrative enough anymore for the kind of effort they put in, especially in the summers. Janadri says one of the biggest contributing factors to the crisis is the wages not going up commensurately as fuel got costlier in the last two months. But companies could be worried that increasing delivery charges could lead to suppression of demand. Meanwhile, Rohit Rati, co-founder of Karma Life, a financial platform for gig workers, says the current situation is because of cyclical factors and the demand supply mismatch will stabilize in a few months. It, 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 it's, it's a cyclical trend right now, right? That uh, uh, we have also seen in past that uh, during this season, which is harvesting and everything, a lot of people actually go back uh, to their hometown. There are more people right now uh, in e-commerce slash last mile delivery. Uh, so that has sort of created a shift between people from food tech to going towards that. But there are other macro conditions also, for example, of course, fuel prices are increasing. Um, you know, uh, that has been, and the, and the payouts have not necessarily increased to that level compared to what fuel prices have increased, right? The switching barrier is too small. So if somebody offers better compensation, they definitely definitely jump on that part. But as I said, right, at a aggregated level, um, it is staying, the income levels are staying where it was earlier. Input costs definitely have increased. You know, you right now still do not have a very stable uh, 
model of model of payment in in the crypto commerce as in when i mean what i mean by that is yes there's a lot of experiment experimentation which is going on in that part you do not have a oversupply for sure uh, the prime reason is the movement of the people between the between the companies um, uh, food tech is is a is is in that sense it's, it's it's a vertical in itself but last mile logistics is growing at a very very high pace right even the crypto commerce will realize that this is a way to really uh, what would be the right idealistic payout structure for that case whether it's hourly basis per shipment per per packet model uh, you know a minimum minimum payout cycle and so on so forth so it will stabilize at that level the demand for gig workers by quick commerce and logistics players plus rising inflation due to fuel costs and the inability of players to increase incentives to riders along with a high churn rate is therefore impacting hiring and retention If you like this video share it and subscribe to Business Standard for more news views and insights log on to www.business-standard.com do also follow us on YouTube Twitter Facebook Instagram Telegram and LinkedIn